Live from Toyota Park, Sporting Kansas City looking to reclaim top spot in the Eastern Conference. In their way this afternoon, an old foe in Chicago. I tell you, this young player is going to be feeling a lot of nerves today. However, how smart are the coaching staff of surrounding him with plenty of experience, recording a hat trick. This is a player that gets a lot of crosses into the box. Very dynamic player. Whoever's on that left side for Sporting Kansas City is going to have his hands full. Should move forward. Cleared away by Eric Palmer Brown. McGee. Now shit. Just let me get through. Quincy Miracles on side here. It's Quincy Miracle who goes down. And the referee's given an early penalty here in favor of Chicago Fire. Quincy Ameriqua causing problems for Sporting Kansas City early on here. Kronberg came committed. And he looked at that run, Sessanovic maybe, maybe keep keeping him on sides, but how easy Quincy Ameriqua goes down. Great ball by Harry Shipp, just behind Palmer Brown. Can't quite see from that angle, but let's look at this replay. I don't think he even touches him. This one passed over to Mike McGee for Chicago Fire. McGee scores. <laughs> Wonderful start for Chicago Fire. Three goals in eight now for Mike McGee. And Chicago lead in Bridgeview. It's disappointing, it's disappointing because it was a decent start by Sporting Kansas City. They look at the replay here. I don't think Aaron Kronberg touches him. If he does, it's very, very light, but Mike McGee steps up. Does a good job of fooling Kronberg with that little stutter step. Tucks it in far corner. Here's Palmer. So Norvig scrambling in. He finds Hoyer. Palmer Brown coming across, committed. It's unfortunate, referee blows the whistle, it's a second penalty! Disaster for Sporting Kansas City! Benji Hoyer just makes a run down the right side. A little push from Eric Palmer Brown, trying to make a recovery. But again, Benji Hoyer goes down very, very easily. You got to be disappointed there. Palmer Brown obviously losing the ball there. Just behind him, taking that little touch with the seal, puts him in a bind, but get the referee very quick to go to his whistle and point the penalty spot. Mike McGee with the second opportunity from the penalty spot. And again, he scores. Mike McGee takes center stage early on here. Chicago Fire 2, Kansas City now. Look at this play again. Palmer Brown, he seemed to be in control. The ball slips a little bit behind him. Ends up going just with his hands just a tad at Mike McGee. Again, same spot, same placing. Eric Kroenberg maybe hesitant to try to make a play on that. Try to read and wait a little bit. Here's Julio. Over the top looking for Tom Dwyer. He's found him as well. Dwyer's through again, and he hits the post. Well, it just sums up these opening stages of this game, doesn't it? Kansas City within a whisker of getting themselves back into the game early on. Enough said. I mean, that play is very, very reflective of the way the first 20 minutes. What a great ball over the top by Juliao. And you think nine times out of ten, Dom Dwyer puts this thing away, tucks it home. But the post is the one that denies him this time. You gotta like the run. You gotta like the delivery. Shoot it out. America accelerating away from Paolo Nagamura. Step from Eric Palmer Brown. And happily can see the foul there. A mature play for a 17 year old. And I'll take a. Yellow card, the first yellow card of his professional career. 
<laughs> and now Paolo Nagimura. Vieira ahead of him. Now it's Claudio Vieira again. Vieira here! And it's the wrong side of the netting. For a brief moment, it seemed as though celebration was due. But that's where you need him to be. Opening space, carving space for himself. Great run. Just barely misses it. Just outside of the post. But you see Claudio Bieler making John Kennedy Udalo make a decision whether to run with them close, give up the space behind them. Well, it's into all sorts of trouble. And it's a late challenge from Eric Palmer Brown. And it's a second yellow card. Eric Palmer Brown on his MLS debut, his professional debut, has been sent off. Disaster and dismay for Eric Palmer Brown and for Sporting Kansas City. You see Diwali going down for the ball, Ameriqua putting pressure, and just slightly pokes the ball away, Eric Brown arriving just just a little bit late, unfortunate for the young man. He's had a decent debut, but two or three plays that he's had have really, really cost him. And now, Sporting Kansas City will have to play shorthanded. We spoke about the, the risk of going into those tackles. Talk a little bit more about that shift in a moment. Lovely ball towards my pass! There's the response they were looking for! Tom Dwyer scores again for Kansas City, and maybe, just maybe, there's life in this team yet. We talk about a response in a reaction, that's exactly what you need. Talked about a good delivery into the box, top of the six, freezing the goalkeeper, Tom Dwyer. Excellent job putting his forehead to the ball. Near post, and again, Sporting KC back in this game. They'll have to be very organized here. Just Duca pushing forward. Duca! Fantastic save for Eric Kronberg. A save that was more than required. You gotta like the pressure that Sporting KC playing with 10 men is putting on this club. Oh, now. It's a disaster here. Mike McGee is in the game here. Fantastic save from Eric Kronberg, and a second time as well. Hurricane in like goalkeeping from Eric Kronberg. You see this mistake off the back, right off the goal kick. Ball is flicked. Two players going for the same ball. Eric Kronberg reads the play perfectly, coming off his line aggressively. Gets a touch with his right hand. Perfect challenge by the goalkeeper. But even better getting back into play. Invading the challenge of Berentowicz, but not McGee. Here is McGee again. Now it's Harry Schick. Chance to come again. Harry Schick! It's a save by Kronberg. Chance evaded. Pines. Now the referee blows the whistle. It's a resounding win for Chicago Fire. Two wins in two games.